Whether or not cancer can be thoroughly cured is not an easy question to answer. But when it spreads, the answer is almost a certain no. In most of the times, the spread of cancer from one side to the other organs in the body happens so quietly, like an invisible devil. It takes away your health and even your life without being aware of it. A good example here is melanoma, which is the most severe type of skin cancer. It starts appearing as a mole on your skin, which everyone has it, and most people tend to ignore their presence. However, once the quarrelly starts spreading around, the chance to survive is extremely low. When you find out, it's already too late. Importantly, one fact we have already learned is that melanoma relies on the blood vessels to spread around. It will release proteins as base to attract new blood vessel formation. These blood vessels provide energies like oxygen and nutrients to support the growth and survival of cancer cells. They also serve as a gateway highway where cancer cell can pop on and travel to any possible organs. Now we wonder, can we cut off the connection between the blood vessel and cancer to stop cancer to death and leave no exit routes for it? Absolutely yes. Indeed, there are drugs that were meant to stop this process, but unfortunately, none of them works well on melanoma because melanoma is too tricky. Based on this fact. My research aims to find out what's the difference between the spreading melanoma and non-spreading melanoma. I want to know what critical proteins contribute to the spreading and the blood vessel formation. Can these proteins serve as a sign of warning to predict the chance and risk of spreading? And eventually, can we design drugs to benefit the melanoma patients? To do this, I used an analytical tool that allowed me to identify the critical proteins that were specifically secreted more by the spreading melanoma. The most significant finding in my research is that I identified a new secreted protein called Skip3, which is present at higher level in the spreading melanoma. What's more, it functions to attract new blood vessel formation, promote melanoma growth, and spreading. For the first time, my research provides a novel target that has significant clinical implications. We can now use Skip3 as a diagnostic marker and detect it in the blood to predict the chance of spreading. We can also design drugs like neutralizing antibodies to block the function, inhibit melanoma growth, cut off the blood supply, and the escape routes. We are now one step closer to catching this uncontrollable devil, and I believe we'll catch it completely in the near future. Thank you.